Since the start of the pandemic, we have been using our wastewater to find out where we stand when it comes to COVID-19. But recently, the man who is leading the wastewater testing program here at UNLV tells me they've made another shocking discovery. He says they started testing for STIs around this time last year, and he says in that time frame, those levels have nearly doubled. I'm Abel Garcia finding out who is being impacted and where they're finding those samples. Our Valley's wastewater is now revealing more alarming information. Chlamydia levels, gonorrhea levels of individuals in this age group of 20 to 25 is just going up over time. Dr. Edwin O, who leads UNLV's wastewater testing program, says along with COVID-19 testing, they've been monitoring STD levels for about a year. Since you started to now, how much have those levels gone up? Yeah, so, so this is um, somewhat concerning to us. Um, we have been seeing a rise in these uh, two different uh, pathogens, in gonorrhea and chlamydia, um, at least doubled yeah, over the last uh, 12 months. Dr. O tells me high levels of STDs are being detected in the Strip's wastewater, but another hot spot, college dorms across Southern Nevada. It's alarming, it's concerning. As a student living on UNLV's campus, Seth Cordage says this is news to him. As college students, we all want to mingle and get to know each other, and if intimate relations do come with that, it shouldn't be the number one concern for us on a college campus, you know, is having STIs and stuff. I compared our wastewater findings to Southern Nevada Health District's data. In January, chlamydia cases were 1,061, up by six from last year. Gonorrhea cases were 476, up by three. Dr. O says while reported infections don't show the significant increase, elevated wastewater levels suggest more asymptomatic infections in the valley. With asymptomatic infections, if you or I had um, chlamydia, we might not know. Dr. O says this data can help local health leaders target areas with high STD levels to help prevent the spread. Seth believes resources should be more accessible. I feel like breaking the stigma around, you know, just having those responsible conversations could definitely be catalyst to change it as well. If you would like more information about the resources that are available when it comes to STIs, I'll have some links for you under this story on our website at ktmb.com. Reporting from UNLV, I'm Ethel Garcia.